So I'm going to show you how to build a chatbot. And the reason is because I worked for this company called Core AI and I learned about making chatbots and it helped me to learn coding and how the internet communications happen. And I just learned so much and I realized this is great for introducing kids to coding and the internet and you know how those things work. Even though it looks terrifying, I know it's okay. Calm down. I'm going to explain things to you. Um, but I think it's, it's great for kids. So one thing you could do to have kids prepare to make a chatbot is to have them do a design brief. And a design brief is not like one set thing. You make a design brief, whatever you want, but basically like I use it with clients. And so I will, um, go over like, who's it for? What does the client want me to build? What do I want to build? I actually don't build chatbots. I build e-learning courses, but it's kind of just some design basics. Engineers use it a lot. Creative designers use it a lot. It's just kind of like, hey, let me just get down the details of what my plan is, but it doesn't go in, it doesn't jump in. It's not like a full scale planning. And so I think it's great for kids because it gives them kind of a guide, but there, it's nothing set in stone. I would recommend looking into design briefs and using one if you were going to use this with kids. Okay. So now, um, first of all, I want you to not be afraid because you're looking at this. And I mean, this is chock full of words you may have never heard of. And um, to be real honest, you don't need to hear about them and you don't need to know what most of this stuff is. This site is not an educational site. It is not made for education in any way. <clears throat> this is for like literal businesses that are truly building chatbots. It's got features uh, that are amazing, but you're never going to have to use them. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, okay. So the basic things you're going to want to know about are the dialogue tasks, the knowledge graph, and how to deploy and publish. So, okay. I made my little outline over on this other screen. That's why I keep looking over there. Let me show you the knowledge graph because this is a simple question and answer section. So, uh, and this is just a silly bot I made. So I'm in a bot that's just a silly little thing I made for fun. Um, and I'm going to add an intent. So I'm going to have a question. Um, why do I have to create a chat bot? That's the question, and the answer is you don't. Okay, simple, save. And then you have to, when you're using the knowledge graph, you have to train the bot. It's kind of like saving your progress. So every time you add, you want to train it. And then once you've trained it, you can use this cool little feature down here called talk to bot. This is just for you to test out how things are working. And I will ask them that exact question. And I see it's working. The exact answer. So that's how you do the knowledge graph. Okay, easy enough, right? Di dialogue tasks are more complicated because they are intended to do something. They're not just going to share information. They're actually going to perform some action. Okay. Uh, like an API call, um, uh, date, a transfer to like a live agent or a transfer to another software, a transfer to a banking website, um, or to collect some data that it's going to be saved, you know, for the company's use. So it actually does something that's called a bot action. So here, this one is called the meaning of life. And um, in this case, I'm going to ask the person for their name, and then I'm gonna give them a compliment here. And then I'm actually gonna perform an API call to get them a quote. It's a random motivational quote. And then I will share that quote with them. So this one is actually doing something other than just sharing basic information. These are called nodes. And here are the node types you have. And actually most of them you aren't gonna use. The common ones you would use in you know, a learning setting is gonna be a message, an entity node, confirmation, maybe, bot action, 
it's going to scare the crap out of you, but you will need to use those. But it will be overwhelming at first. And then like a digital form that just collects information from a user. Um, the rest of these, eventually you're going to figure out they're really simple, but you don't even need to worry about them because they it probably seems overwhelming right now. Every node has a panel that pops up. You see over here, it pops up. Okay. And it and then the panel has sub panels. So here, the first panel that pops up is where you name the node, and then you know if there's a if it's a message node, you write the message. If it's an API call or something, then you you configure that on this main screen. Don't worry about that. See, this one has other options. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. This one you might need, but you may not even need that. So yeah, there's lots of features. Who cares about these other things? I'm telling you right now, you don't need to do anything with them to make things work. You can, you can go in and make all kinds of features. You can do all kinds of amazing things. Okay, so once you've built a dialogue task, you actually don't have to train for talk to bot. The knowledge graph is the only one that has to be saved. Um, so, so let's test out what talked about. Let's, let's ask him the meaning of life. We're going to say, well, hold on. I want to show you one other thing. This is the debug log. There's this little bug here when you use talk to bot. And, uh, this will show you as the nodes are processed, what's happening. And then under session context and variables, it's going to show you data that we've collected. So sounds pretty crazy yes i know don't worry so let's say what is the meaning of life okay and so we see they they've actually my bots identified multiple intents so i've got to decide which one it is um i want to actually know the meaning of life okay and we can see over here how now we're at the name node. You see how it's coming up? And it's a pause because they're asking me for my name. So I'm going to be Sally today. And then the bot says, well, Sally, your name has quite a ring to it. And you can see over here, it is moving through all of these nodes. And then here's the random quote I got using an API call. A true friend freely advises justly. Assists readily, adventures boldly, takes all patiently, a defense courageously, and continues a friend unchangeably. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? And so it's done. Now, this shows me everything that happened. It's green, so that means everything worked okay. But when you're building bots and you're working in coding, you're going to have errors frequently. And they turn, they show up in red and show you it's an error. But that's where, so you know where it happened. So you'll know, oh, it messed up on this node, and that's where you go to try to solve your problem. Session context and variables will show you um, any entity values that were collected. As long as the dialog task is still in session, actually this one has ended because it made it to the very end. So it's over and it's, it's dumped all the data. That probably doesn't make any sense to you let's not even go there okay um so you might be thinking it's something you can't learn well guess what you can you can now those are the two things you need to build conversations and just like i said you use talk to bot to test it so you get something wrong yeah that's okay fix it test it and fix it that's the cool thing about coding and and this kind of thing is that you can make multiple errors and mistakes and it's cool okay go to deploy channels the one you'll want is web mobile client and you will publish or you will activate it and you'll get this url and you can actually customize your colors over here not going to show you how to do that it's very easy to do anyway this is a url you could share with people and, and people can actually use your bot. It's like a real live public thing. Um, watch. Ah. See, it's going to work just like it did with talk to bot. Okay. Now, as you add more content to your bot, you'll have to update it 
so right now what's on this URL is only what I've published was my last published date I'm gonna go in and add more questions and add more content and every time I do that I want to update so I've got to go to publish and I go ahead and you know I can add in what publish what I said I usually just do that because you have to write something there and then I confirm and then it's publishing so it'll update with all of my results okay once you've done that and you've shared this with people, you might share it with a bunch of people and just have them go play around with it. You can actually collect data under the Analyze tab. Now, I'm not going to have any data in here, I don't think. I actually just did one conversation, so there's probably that one conversation. Um, but anyway, you'll get graphs in here and it'll show you, um, you know, the types of conversations and it looks horrible right now but it's really colorful and pretty when you get data in there and you know you don't have to use this so I'm not going to go into details of like what everything means but there's a lot of cool data here in graphs so it's that's cool too you know I mean and, and it's really that simple that really you go in and create a bot and I've created the website you just go through that I even show you how to make an API call step by step you could do this in like an hour and have something actually working and it's very complex and you can do that in a short amount of time with this um, and then learn other features as you go you know i mean the core website has a whole academy with courses it has all kinds of um, documentation and and free resources and of course they cater to businesses but hey why not use it it's free to people you get there's a free account businesses pay for it of course because they're like going big but why not good luck bye bye